Late yesterday afternoon, a post from Are You Queer Confessions, Questions and Crushes was posted on the SRC Facebook page. It contained the names of 11 individuals. Although the post did not expressly state this, it was implied that the people listed are known unconvicted rapists attending the university. This list has become known as the RU Reference List. Shortly after it was posted, a number of students decided to mobilize and go to the residences of some of the students listed to try and remove them from their rooms so that they could personally respond to these allegations. The group marched to the residences of Jan Smuts, Alata, Cullen Bowles, Goldfields and Graham House. A few students were held by the group as it made its way down Prince Alfred Street until the drama department. This area has been dubbed the Purple Square. In the early hours of the morning, police arrived but the students did not disperse. By 8am, one of the accused was still being held by the group, but Vice-Chancellor Mabizela and Colonel Null of the South African Police Service spoke to students, urging them to release the accused and that they were breaking the law. The accused has since been released. The group then marched to the main administration building to disrupt daily operations, as well as various other lectures and tutorials which took place throughout the day. I'm sorry, I understand that you need to carry on with your lecture, but this is far more important than anybody's lecture, anybody's touch, anybody's... Yes! 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 yes. 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 I would rather have people not break than people be educated. Guys, come on! Sean Ferguson, chairperson of the Gender Action Project, read out a list of demands which was handed over to the university management. Vice-Chancellor Mabizela responded at 4 p.m. Rhodes University condemns sexual violence. Rhodes University condemns rape. We'll be setting up a task team that will look at our processes and procedures and make sure that we strengthen our response to issues of sexual assault and rape. Students remain upset with the manner in which the university management deals with cases of rape on campus. The group met yet again in the Purple Square at 7pm. For Activate, this has been Mickey Dorfling.